Okay. Welcome to Noonday Prayer from St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Beaufort, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, the fifth Wednesday, or the fifth week of Lent. I am Walter Phillips, a Eucharistic minister here in the church. The service is being put on the internet, on YouTube and Facebook, by our rector, the Reverend Tamira Elizabeth, Tamira Elizabeth Lee. Our service begins in the prayer book on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. Today's colic. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, renew in us the gifts of your mercy. Increase, increase our faith, strengthen our hope, enlighten our understanding, widen our charity, and make us ready to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the third chapter of Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods, and you do not worship the golden statue that I have set up? Now if you are ready when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trident, harp, drum, an entire musical ensemble to fall, to fail to fall down and worship the statue that I have made well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. And who is the God that will deliver you, will deliver you out of your, my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire, and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace heated up seven times more than was customary and ordered some of the strongest guards in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to throw them into the furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, was it not three men that we threw bound into the fire? They answered the king, True, O king. He replied, But I see four men unbound walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of a god. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the satraps and the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not had any power over the bodies of those men. The hair of their head was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of fire came from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we read Canticle 13, a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. Today's Gospel is from the 8th chapter of John, beginning with the 31st verse. Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will, we will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing what Abraham did. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are indeed doing what your father does. They said to him, we are illegitimate, we are not illegitimate children. We have one Father, God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflections on two of the readings we read, Daniel and John, today. Daniel is a story about religious persecution. The three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are administrators in Babylon, and they're given a choice. Worship Nebuchadnezzar's golden image or, not, or God. So telling Nebuchadnezzar that God would deliver them from the burning fire and out of Nebuchadnezzar's hand, even if they're not going to, even if he, but even if he doesn't, they are not going to bow down to the golden image. So remaining faithful to God, they go into the flames of a fiery furnace. But as we know, they are not burned, which causes Nebuchadnezzar to bless their God, Yahweh. It's an example of martyrs who throughout the history of the church have given up their lives to be faithful to God. Think about that. Here in Lent, we say in the Ash Wednesday service, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. May we always choose God and the truths of our faith and those things that internally endure. In the eighth chapter of John, we read about the Jews and Jesus and Abraham. <laughs> Throughout history, Israel was enslaved by one nation after another. In the time of Jesus, they were subjects of the Roman Empire. Jesus said that if they, the Jews, 
really lived by his words, they would be free from the oppression of sin. Thinking that Jesus meant political freedom, the Jews and the Pharisees boasted that they had never been enslaved, that they were sons of Abraham and no liberator was needed. Jesus told them that ancestral heritage did not make one a child of Abraham. True believers were those who followed Abraham's examples of faith and trusted in God. Unbelievers were those who were enslaved to sin. Jesus said that if people really knew God as their father, they would be set free and believe that God had sent him. Verses 31, 32, and 36 say everything about this particular reading. If you abide in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If therefore the the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. God is the source, source of all truth, and the closer we listen to God's word, the more we grow in the knowledge and wisdom of God's truth, freeing us from ignorance and fear. Thanks be to God. From the rising of the <clears throat> if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve thy sick servants, and give thy power of healing to those who minister to to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered, Nancy Moore, Rachel Chaplin, Holton Eastman, Bill Campbell, Mamra Wilson, Ruth Daniel, Ken Eiler, Nelson Taylor, Joe Paik, Ann Eastman, Ben Green, John Carlisto, William Davis, Bob Mantho, Judy Mercer, Jack Gardner, Annette Cruz, Jamal, Patty Auden, Sarah Evans, Ginny Coslow, Joe Smith, Bab Barnes, and Kathy Osborne may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in thy loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, 
suffer not our trust in thee to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant, St. Paul, to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>